Hello. Hey, hi. How are you guys doing? We're doing fine. You're Max? I would describe a water audit as an opportunity to see how efficient your watering habits are, uh, to check the efficiency and condition of your irrigation system. We were uncertain of the condition of the irrigation system. We're looking for ways to maximize our use of water, knowing that we had moved into basically an arid part of the United States. We partner with Denver Water to do these sprinkler inspections for residents in, in and around the city of Denver. You can see how a lot of that water is starting to kind of shoot up from the base here. Yeah. So most likely the actual head itself needs to be replaced. As we survey the entire sprinkler system, a lot of the times it's just simple overspray. A head is kind of turned a little bit and a lot of that water is just being sprayed onto the sidewalk or their driveway. I'll see a lot of broken heads. We try to fine tune things and then ultimately we do a series of tests to give them a customized watering schedule. Cyclone soak just allows that water to really absorb into the soil like we want it to. It reduces a lot of that runoff. Instead of running every single zone for 20 minutes every other day or something like that, effectively break that 20 minutes up into three short cycles. I did take a pressure reading and your pressure was pretty significantly high. It causes a lot of misting, so that's a lot of water waste, that's a lot of water that's not landing on your grass like we want it to. And then it's also bad too because it just adds more wear and tear to your system. For a garden area that has traditional spray heads, I recommend getting a conversion kit, and then you can kind of cap the other heads that you're no longer using, and then run traditional drip lines. All of that water is now directly being applied to the root zone like we want it to be. I have learned how to adjust sprinkler heads, difference between like watering grass versus watering flowers, and I've learned how to make the most of the water I use. At least once a month, if you can every other week throughout the summer, Turn on your system during the daytime, run each zone for a couple of minutes, make sure things are running as appropriate. If this is going off at five in the morning and you guys are still asleep or something like that, you'll have no idea until you kind of get that water bill. A lot of people tend to be very intimidated by their control clocks. Looks like it's going off at 3 a.m. I'm essentially empowering the homeowner to show them how to use their control clock, show them how to change and adjust heads. A lot of these issues you can do on your own. You don't have to hire someone to come out and do them for yourself. Our knowledge of the controller for our irrigation system uh, was small to non-existent. With the help we got today, we understand it a lot more. Make the best use of our water for the best looking lawn. I'm not a sprinkler or water expert or grass, so this was very, very helpful. That's probably why you're getting a little bit of that bare patch there. I think it will reduce our budget and improve the efficiency of our water use. And I'd just add that it's painless. <laughs>